Right, today I'm joined by Mark Finlay, international athlete for Great Britain, now a strength and conditioning coach, training celebrity training athletes as well, yeah, and yeah, both. <laughs> musicians, <laughs> DJs, a bit of everyone. Yeah, a bit of everything at the moment, yeah. How do you find it? Um, yeah, really good. It's obviously what I enjoy. It's something I knew when I was uh, when I was competing and coming to the end of my career. It's something I wanted to get into. Uh, which is the PT kind of strength and conditioning side of everything. And um, yeah, we're in a good place at the moment, so I'm enjoying it. Okay, so do you think that there's um, an element of musicians joining into fitness at the moment? Do you think that's a big problem? Um, at the moment, yeah, it's, it is, um, it's, becoming, it's becoming more and more relevant at the moment. So, for instance, a good pal of mine who's... Uh, uh, personal trainer as well. He works with Stormzy. Uh, obviously, I've been working with Wretch Free too. Uh, we've heard through Wretch has got a few DMs from a few other guys <laughs> that want to kind of join in. So it's all um, it's a lot more artists are kind of wanting to look after themselves and look a certain way. Yeah. Um, and especially for guys that perform, it's it's important to be. The last thing you want to be doing is jumping around on stage and being out of breath yeah, and yeah, of you course. can't say what you want to say the way you want to say it. Um, so a lot of artists now want to be fitter as well as look in a certain way. Okay. So the transition from being an elite, an elite athlete, mm. you said that you knew what you were going to do in terms yeah. of personal training. Yeah. Um, what does the future hold for you also? Um, so yeah, the transition, I just obviously I knew what I wanted to do. I, I, I knew I couldn't sit in an office or... Yeah or nothing like that, and I knew I kind of had to be my own boss. Um, so that transition, in the beginning, obviously, you, you know, you've been there yourself, you, you start with nothing, you're trying to build your clientele, and, you know, slowly but surely, we, we've got to a, a good place now where, you know, we're really busy, um, so that's going well. Um, in terms of the future, I have a few projects that are uh, we're going on, going to start doing in 218. A um, few, a uh, few things with other, with some artists okay. actually. Yeah. Um, hopefully, won't say too much, but actually, just have something on um, on YouTube, like a YouTube channel or something like that. Okay. Um, something on uh, Instagram and social media. Um, also, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna do get my online stuff going. Okay. Because um, obviously, I kind of feel at the moment I'm, I'm at, a, at a point where. You know, if I was to take on two or three more people, I'm, I'm fully booked up. Yeah, yeah. Um, but then I still want to help people. So what the next thing for me is you can either bring someone in um, that can shadow you for a while and then you can they can start working for you. But I think what my problem has been is the way I've advertised myself from the start. People are invested in, in me. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it, I've had problems with bringing people in. Um so obviously the next step for me would be to go online okay. um, and basically I can give you a package, a program, um, you know, there's, there's an app that, I'll, that I'm going to set up and it's going to use where I'll send you your workout, videos of each exercise I want you to do um, and then you can, work, you can film your workout to send it to me, I critique it, um, we may have like a Skype call once a week just to see how things are going. And, you know, that's an, another avenue for me, a bit of growth. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what we all want, <laughs> yeah. really. So what do you think of the fitness industry at the moment? Booming at the moment. Yeah. It really is booming. Um, I think since, since the whole social media, especially Instagram, has just gone crazy, um, it's got, it, everybody is into fitness. Yeah. I mean, the problem we find is, Everybody's a personal trainer, um, so you have to be kind of be careful, quality control, um, and make sure you do your research and make sure the person you want to work with knows what they're doing and maybe check out their history and go from there. But now fitness is in a very good place yeah, yeah. at the moment. And your sporting idol, who would you say that would be? Ooh, <laughs> damn! That's a question and a half. Um, sporting idol. Uh, if I have to stick with my own sport, I have two. Um, obviously, Linford Christie being someone I looked up to when I was competing and when I was young. And uh, Daley Thompson, okay. absolute warrior beast. And I just don't think he gets the credit 
that uh, he deserves. A two-time Olympian in yeah. the decathlon is unheard of. Okay, I, I wouldn't have thought that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't have thought that. That yeah, kind of daily, shocked me. Yeah, daily, daily is the guy to me. And I see that you're doing a bit of boxing on your social media. I what, am. What is, where does this all come from? Like? <laughs> so my missus says it's a midlife crisis. <laughs> um, to be fair, what it, what it is, is obviously, you know yourself, you come from track and field, it's a competitive sport. Yeah. Uh, once I retired in 2012, I, I didn't do much. I just delved into work for a couple of years. And then I thought, you know what, I need to start doing a bit for myself. I need, you know when you're working with clients and you're helping everybody else, but, you know, you've got to find something for you. So I actually went back, just for two years, I went back and done a bit of track. I'd done some Masters athletics. So I went to the European Champs, I won the European title in Italy over 60 metres. I went to the World World Champs in Budapest, I got silver. But then it was, okay, it's kind of taken away from my work a little bit because if I want to do something, I want to do it properly. Yeah. So the time I was dedicating to training was just a little bit too much. Yeah. Um, so I had to park that aside and then decided, you know, when I was competing, my coaches were like, you know, don't go crazy in the gym because I had a, a, a I'm a big guy. Yeah, so yeah. I had a habit, if I touch gym, I get really big. So I thought, oh, well, I've got a free license now. Let's, <laughs> Let's go in the gym and let's, let's do a bit of bodybuilding. But to be fair, I've done it for about 18 months. Uh, and through, again, with me, if I'm going to do anything, I want to do it properly. So I was, I was stuffing 5,000 calories down me and the amount of money I was spending on food and the amount of meat I had to eat. I just thought... And then in the working out, just it wasn't enough for me. Yeah, yeah. I, coming from competitive sport, I needed a little bit more. Yeah. Um, so then a friend of mine, Andy Turner, um, European and Commonwealth hurdles champion, he got into a bit of boxing, done a celebrity boxing match. Okay. And he fell in love with it. He gave me a call, he gave me a, a WhatsApp and said, oh, I think you should try a bit of boxing. I think you'll love it. I'm addicted. Mm. So um, I went down to my local gym because uh, there's some guys that come here in the morning and they're pro boxers and they come in the morning and run miles and miles and miles. <laughs> So I um, spoke to them about it. They said, come down to the gym, and I haven't looked back. Wow. I've got a, um, a white-collar fight, 15th of March, and um, I'm training for that. So it's that competitive elements come back. Yeah, so it's, it's giving you more energy. Giving me more energy, and it's, it's nice to get into something where I'm a complete novice, I'm learning, yeah. um, and, you know, a lot of us guys... Um, ex sprinters and things like that. We kind of have a bit of an addictive nature. Once we get into something, yeah. we want to do it properly. So I'm, you know, I'm on Inst- I'm on YouTube. I'm I'm studying heavyweights. Um, I'm really into it. So you're um, buzzing from it. I'm now. buzzing from it. I must say, yeah. <laughs> okay. So um, in terms of the boxing, mm. who would your who would be your idol in boxing? Who would you look up to, and who would you watch their videos? At the moment, so I look a lot at uh, Lennox Lewis. I look a lot. Okay. I look a lot of videos at Lennox. Uh, I watch AJ. Okay. Uh, yeah. My God, I watch AJ. <laughs> um, uh, so they're, they're the two main fighters I tend to watch. Uh, the way they're working with me is, you know, we're working a lot with Jab, and I'm, I'm a heavyweight. I'm a big boy. So, you know, a lot of the, the fancy stuff I'm not going to be doing yeah, yeah. is really sticking to my Jab using the right hand and uh, at the moment because I'm new to the sport we don't want to complicate things too much so they're the two guys using how your movement how to use my jab my distance uh, so at the moment they're the two guys that I'm okay, okay. I'm looking at at the moment so what advice would you give to anyone that's trying to lose a bit of weight now and get fit for the new year consistency that's the only advice you would give at consistency obviously this time of year Everybody, the January goal, right, I'm going to join the gym, I'm going to get myself in shape. And then by February, mid-Feb, a lot of people fall off. So the main thing is just be consistent. If you're going to commit to something, commit to something. So obviously, you working out, you have to be consistent with that. And obviously, your nutrition and your diet has to change a bit to go alongside your training. I I think the mistake a lot of people make is they may train hard. Yeah. But if your nutrition is not mirroring what you're doing, mm-hmm. you might not get the results that you're really looking for. Yeah. So for me, consistency and your nutrition, just try your best to eat as clean as possible. Okay. And I know you're a Tottenham fan. Oh dear, I'm yes, going to ask you this question. <laughs> <laughs> right. Arsenal approach you. 
and they say, we want Finley's Fitness as the guy to help all our players. What do I say? What do you say? You can't afford me. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you get out of it. Yeah, you can't afford me. So what, Sorry. you never ever work for Arsenal? You couldn't put that badge on? Um, wow. That would, be, <laughs> that would be so hard there. I think, uh, you know, we put up some big numbers we can talk. Okay, 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 <laughs> cool. But it would be hard work. All right, I'm going to ask you five questions. Yeah, rapid sure. fire, yeah? Okay. Um, top four this season. Top four this season, I have to say Man City, Man United, Chelsea, Tottenham. Okay. That hurts, <laughs> no, you know I couldn't say that. <laughs> um, hardest training, boxing, athletics or weightlifting? I'm going to say boxing. Yeah? Yeah, honestly, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, Mourinho or Pep? Ooh, I love a bit of Mourinho. Even though he's been a bit moany lately, I do love a bit of Mourinho. Okay, uh, most talented athlete you've worked with? Most talented. Man, I've worked with some talented boys. I think the most rawly talented would have to be Mark Lewis Francis. Okay. Yeah, okay. amazingly crazy talented. Crazy, crazy talented. It was scary. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Um, who's the next up and coming sprint king in Great Britain? So I'm going to get in trouble for this. <laughs> um, Reese Prescott. Reese Prescott, mm. okay. okay. And who's better, Deli Ali or Jack Wilshire? Deli Ali, come what? on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it was a pleasure. Thank you. But I don't much. agree with that. <laughs> yeah. I don't agree with that. And I, didn't think, I didn't think you would, but <laughs> I can't be on camera and say Jack Wilshire, no chance. But if he came to train with you to, get no, to have no injuries, who would you? Would you go with him? Jack yeah, Wilshire. I'd, I'd, I'd make him amazing. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs>